We're gonna take a few minutes and talk about how our nitrous flow meter works and how to give proper nitrous with our equipment that we have. So we're gonna do a little review of what the nitrous flow meter is, which is this little contraption we have right here. First thing I wanna make mention of is there are three hoses that run to this machine. There is the blue hose right here, which has our nitrous. There's the green hose, which has our oxygen. And there's the gray hose, which is our vacuum, okay? And all of those run into the machine and all do, of course, their individual function. On the left-hand side, you'll see the blue dial right here. And on the right side, you'll see the green. Again, the green is the oxygen, the blue is the nitrous oxide, all right? And then the gray comes underneath where our suction system is. And all of those eventually lead out into this, okay? We have our hoses that come in. The small tubes are, again, those gases that we mixed together. And the big one is our suction that comes out, all right? All that goes into the hood. And this is the point of excitement. Everything comes flowing into here, and this is where all the action takes place, okay? So as far as our machine goes, a couple things I wanted to point out to you and show you real quick. So first off, when you turn on the nitrous and you lift this up, you notice nothing happens. That's because these are designed that not allow just nitrous to flow. You have to have oxygen flowing, okay? So to turn it on, you have to have some nitrous going. And you'll see, or the lack of oxygen going, you'll see it'll go up on, so this just has oxygen flowing. Now, as soon as you turn this up, immediately, then this one will start to actually put nitrous into the system too. And of course, we run our systems, when we start patients on 60% nitrous, which automatically means it's 40% oxygen. And no matter how you move this up and down, it'll keep that 60-40 mixture if you have it on 60 right here, okay? If you move that down to 50, it does the same thing. You see how the two balls are basically identical to each other, okay? So we run our patients on 60. And usually, having it about 60 with somewhere with the oxygen between two and three is just about the right amount of gas to have your balloon be properly inflated. Now, you now see it's super tight. It's kind of loose. It's flexible. And that's where the gas goes in and it mixes in right here before it goes into the tubing. And that's where the mixture happens. Now, the sound you hear, though, that sort of hissing sound is the suction, all right? And on the side of our meter is this little dial. This shows our suction pulling the gases back out. As you turn this dial up, it makes the gas higher. As you move down, it makes the gas lower. And that's how you can kind of control how much is coming in and out. And you want it to be about right in the middle, all right? And that's how you make sure you have the right amount of suction going to make sure there's not extra gas going. If it's in the balance, it's all balanced. So that is how you ensure everything is the way it is. Now, one thing I'm gonna note and show you is there's this green button on the back called the O2 flush. If you push that button in, what it does is immediately just pushes oxygen and you see how full the bag gets. It just pushes oxygen here so it flushes all the nitrous out. So if you wanna get the, the nitrous out of your bag, you can just simply squeeze your bag, clean it out, and then it'll fill right back up with oxygen again only. All right, so that's what that green dial is, is there in the back. So those are the components to the, fl uh, the flow meter and how you can get it to work. And again, once you've got your mixture just right and you get your sounds all going the way they're supposed to, that can go on the patient and it's ready to go.